El Bernabij, the program, Aleo, tonight, is on the subject of Adawa. And what is Dawah? So we look to the Quran. Kala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, kuntin khayra umatin, ukrijat lannas, ta'maruna bil maruf, wa tanhawna anhil munkar, wa tu'minuna billah. The Tarjama translation to the English language is more or less you are the best of nation Ummah raised up because you call to Al-Maruf and you forbid Al-Munkar and you believe in the law this is in Surah Al-Imran. If you go by the numbers like I do, it's chapter 3, ayah number 110. It says, the reason you are the best is because you call to Maruf. You forbid Munkar. And you believe in Allah. What is Maruf? The translator here said, right. What is Munkar? It says, wrong. Actually, you can't translate this unless you know the meaning. Most of the translators who know English don't know the real meaning behind the ayah. Although they understand it is a dawah of calling, very few people have ever really thought about this, except maybe scholars. In Surah Baqarah, all the way to Surah Al-Asr, you always hear, Alladina amanu wa amilu salahati. Always this way. Never amal salihat wa amanu or tu'minuna billah or something like that. Never. Leish. Why? Because you have to believe in Allah first. Otherwise, the amal doesn't count. Amal only counts with niya. Kala Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Inma amalahu bin niyah This is hadith on the order of Omar radiallahu anhu It's the first hadith al-awl Fi kitab liman Fi sahih Bukhari This is the first hadith in sahih Bukhari All of the amal, all of the action is by what? Near intention. So how, how can you have any good deed if you don't have intention? And the best intention is for Allah. So that's how it's always from Baqarah to Al-Asr. Alladina amanu wa amilu salahat. Except in this ayah. Except in this ayah. Wa tu'minuna billah. You heard it. Did it come first? Left. It is after. Amr bil maru. Amr, it means to order somebody to do something. Do this. Do it. This is Amr. You order the people to do this maruf. And you forbid anybody to do the munkar. The general understanding of the Maurid, the dictionary in the Lagot Arabiya, Arabic language, 
it will tell you many things about maruf and munkar. It's not just one thing. Generally, we will say good and bad, good and evil, right and wrong. But if you know this, what I just told you, now you have to go ask ulama. You cannot by yourself understand this ayah unless you ask somebody with ilm, somebody of knowledge. So we did. And we asked them why. Why these two things and then what took me to Nabila? And they said, because this is not just good and bad. It's not just right and wrong. This maruf in this ayah is la ilaha illallah. And the moon car is what takes people away from la ilaha illallah. So you have to understand that it is the essence of Islam itself. Read it like this. You are the best people ever raised up. Because why? Because you call to la ilaha illallah, Muhammad or Rasulullah, and you forbid anything that will take the people away from la ilaha illallah, Muhammad or Rasulullah. And you will do it at any expense. You will do your best always to show Islam the best way, to help people to understand, to take time to sit with people to explain and, and never turn your back on this subject. Always looking at how can we show Islam a better way? How can we help the people stay away from the things that Islam forbids? What does Islam tell us to do? This is everything, everything in Islam. Don't eat khanzir, pork, is one. Don't deal in riba. Tijara, business, mafi riba, without riba. So we understand, okay, everything. It means also no zina. Also, don't wear silk for men. Also, ladies have to wear hijab if they go out. Men, leave your beard, let it grow. All of this is part of Islam. Everything. So you're calling to whatever Islam is saying. And you're forbidding what takes people out. It does not mean you force people to be Muslim. No. It means you call to it. You're ordering this for yourself, for your family, and showing the people what's Islam. Now, the Sheikh said, how can you say this? That you would not call to Allah, and you won't stop what takes people away from Allah, then how do you believe in Allah? What took me noon in Billah? Now you see. That's why this is such an important verse for us to know when we talk about calling to Allah with Islam.